Hey guys, Jeremy Hood here. I'm going to do a video on these different trackpads to see which ones are best compatible with Linux. And I'm going to start with the Apple Trackpad Magic 2. And I'm not sure what order I'll go in. Oh, let's go top down. So then I'll do this one. Key Meitcher, whatever that is. This is like a no-name China brand. If that skew helps. Uh, Jeeves, Jeeves, LTC Jeeves, and finally the, what is that, Parapad 504, so we'll do these one at a time. I'm going to be testing them on Firefox and Chromium, so currently Chromium is up, and here's the Apple Trackpad Magic 2, so I'm going to do normal mouse movement oops there was an accidental click and I think the whole trackpad goes down like a click which is awkward to me I'd rather it only do the tap uh, and then I can double tap triple tap uh, scroll two finger scroll seems to work I haven't tried three dimensional scrolling let's try that I just made the font size huge just so I could get, yep, three-dimensional scrolling works like a champ. Uh, the middle mouse is a three-finger click, and that seems to work. Where it moved that... Oh, it's not working on this one. Interesting. But the three-finger click does seem to work sometimes. Two finger zoom does not work. Doesn't seem to be changing anything. Okay, so let's scroll Firefox, same thing. Zoom does not work. Three finger click does work to bring up a new tab. No zoom, and if I do th three fingers side to side, I would expect like a forward or a back or something like that. Or a forefinger doesn't seem to do anything special. Oh, I can tap and then immediately tap again and drag. Oops, double tap, my bad. That's the accidental. I tapped and pushed it down so that counted as a double tap. This is my personal computer, and I'm running Ubuntu 22 on it. Whereas my work computer, I'm running Ubuntu 20, and it does not work with this trackpad at all. Like, if I click it like this, like physically click it, then it actually does uh, register the clicks, but it doesn't move the mouse, it doesn't scroll, it doesn't zoom, it doesn't anything. Uh, and I've tried it with Bluetooth and plugged in directly. Next up is the key mecher, key mecher, I don't know how to say that. And it's plugged in right now. There's an on off button for the Bluetooth that appears and that's off right now. But it seems to be working with that button off because I just have it plugged in. So just moving it around. Uh, two finger scroll seems to work. Zoom does not work. Tap to click is much nicer on this than the Apple because I'm not getting the double clicks by accident when I push too hard. Vertical, horizontal scroll, work fine. Uh, and the middle mouse emulation with the three click, the triple click, that works too. I don't see any 
special cases for the three finger going right and left or four finger it's not doing anything and this one does work fine in Ubuntu 20 and 22 this one the T055 uh, seems to be working pretty well too so let's look at it there's some moving the mouse around and then scrolling horizontally as well as vertically and simultaneously uh, single click double click all the things uh, zoom does not work it's treating the zoom like a scroll and the middle mouse emulation with three fingers seems to work so no complaints about this one and this also works fine in Ubuntu 20 and 22 but I will say one thing though if you notice that blue light it doesn't work until the blue light comes on so I'm going to turn off this USB blue lights off and now I'm going to turn it on and see how long it takes for that blue light to come on because it won't work until that blue lights on so it does take it a couple of seconds there to sync I don't know what exactly it's doing the other mice did not suffer that problem next up is the LTC uh, and this one's both a number pad and a trackpad. So if I hold this, it turns on the number pad. You can see I accidentally tapped it, which did that. Brought up a right click. And then it growls at me. It's going frrr, frrr, like it's shaking or something. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. So I'm going to turn this off and just there, jerk again. I'm going to use this just as a trackpad. It's not quite as responsive as I'd like it to be, to be honest. Uh, oh, and it does not do the... Three finger it's not doing the three finger middle mouse simulation there it just did a right click when I did a single tap why is it doing that why is that a right click and oh two fingers are like a move I have no idea what this thing's doing and I can't tap and hold it growls at me It's just acting funny now. I think I understand what's going on. I think this is registering with the system as a mouse instead of a trackpad. So you see I use a left-handed mouse. So therefore when I do a single click it's actually registering that as a right click. And if I do a double click, I'm sorry, a, a two finger click, it's registering that as a single, as a regular tap anyway so that's unfortunate that it's registering also the scroll is backwards which also goes along with the idea that it's registering with the system as a mouse rather than a trackpad fail <laughs> even though I don't care about this anymore I guess I should try the numbers and see if they work I'm gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so it's not quite super accurate I'll try that on my keyboard. Yeah, so that's much more accurate. Yeah, I missed. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> yeah, this thing sucks. All right, last but not least is this uh, per Perix. Perix. I don't know how you say that. Prepad 504. 504. Uh, the peripad 
Anyway, I can get it to try and move around a bit. Like it moves the mouse and it goes kind of wild. Now I know I can go adjust that in the settings, but if I tap to click, it's not doing anything. So tap to click seems to not work on this guy, but it does have physical buttons, which is nice. However, the physical buttons don't seem to work either. So if I click on that and hold it, click on this and hold it and move it, it won't move. Now if it's registering as a mouse instead of a trackpad, you would think I need to click this one, so I'll do that. Oops, it moved. And click and move it, nothing. So I'm going to call this one a failure for the Linux community. So you can see right here, I'm on the title bar. I should be able to click either of these buttons and have it move. Uh, is that Firefox? Whatever. That window should be moving up and it's not. So as far as I can tell, there are three alternatives for the Linux community. This is probably going to end up being my choice. Uh, the advantage is it synchronizes quickly to the computer, which isn't necessarily important if you only have one computer, but if you have a KVM switch, when you switch back and forth, they have to resynchronize with the computer. So this one does it pretty quickly, faster than my monitor does. Uh, what I dislike about this one is all these buttons and lights and fluff and the bottom right and the bottom left corners. Uh, are like mouse clicks so I'm not a big fan of that I wish it was just a plain trackpad with nothing fancy to it but that's just a personal preference and this one's $45 as of what I filmed this uh, this one is I called it a cheap China one but it's not cheap <laughs> it's a no name which is true but uh, anyway this one I like that it's plain just a trackpad it's a little bit thinner than this one you can see just a tiny bit thinner uh, this one does Bluetooth this one does not you have to plug it in which I'm okay with I'm gonna plug in anyway uh, this one I like that it's plain and simple it works the all the features that I would expect work on it uh, and all you have is one light to let you know it's synchronized. The trouble is it just takes a couple of seconds to synchronize. So if you only have one computer, no biggie. But if you have a KVM switch, then that's probably going to be frustrating. And then the third alternative that could work is the Apple Magic Trackpad 2. Uh, and this one, the disadvantage is it only works on Ubuntu 22. And I assume newer. There aren't any newer ones right now. And the other disadvantage is this little, uh, when it's on, this little, you, you push the trackpad down to click. And you can tap it. So oftentimes I find myself tapping it and it taps and clicks at the same time. So that's kind of awkward, which I guess I could get used to using it very, very delicately. Uh... So, the, what are the advantages to this one? It's a plain, simple layout. That's nice. Uh, it does Bluetooth and you can plug it in. It's, the other two take micro USB. This one takes a, uh, what does Apple call that? The, I forget what they call that connection. But it's an Apple specific, or, or Apple came up with it. It's the same as the charger for the phones, I think. So yeah, those three alternatives, $45, $70, and this one refreshed or refurbished was $80. So to me, I think I'm going to go with this one. It's not worth the money for the others, given the pros and cons. Thanks for watching. Bye.